it only takes one incident, whether it's a crime or not, whether it rises to the level of a crime or not, to create paralysis in a community, to create fear in a community. And uh, that is not the way any of us uh, should live or need to live within our community. There's no silver bullet, there's no panacea to hate. There are multiple approaches, all of which add up together to make progress and move the needle. And so yes, progress is being made, and I'm proud that a good amount of it is because of what we're learning in these, in these roundtables. There was a question today about um, hate generally, but specifically as it relates to law enforcement. So while we speak about racism and hate crimes, I would like to ask um, that a good place to start sometimes would be within our own police departments. I shared with her that there was a law that was passed called the CLEAR Act that became effective January 1st of this year, 2023, which makes it mandatory for law enforcement agencies when doing their background checks to look at the affiliations to hate groups or uh, the uh, participation in hate activities of the candidates. And if they find uh, such activity or uh, affiliation, it can be grounds for disqualification. Uh, constituents just want their leaders to work together to solve problems. Maybe it is a familiar face, like Cindy had mentioned earlier, about having police officers that can speak the actual language of some of the, um, the citizens that don't speak English primarily. But what if I wasn't there? What if it was just my parents? What if they didn't know what to do? And what if something worse happened because they didn't feel um, secure enough to say something or report it? So that's all I'm asking for immigrants like my parents to have some type of resource, some type of a way to feel comfortable in making a report in those situations. Today on full display, I think, was a commitment to working together uh, to solve the common problems faced by Californians and, and the great folks of Fresno, and I was proud to be part of it.